in Tokyo at the Olympic Games. Of course, the 500 meter distance has become incredibly competitive because it was put back in the Olympic program for Tokyo. We'll see it again in the Olympic program for Paris. So this is a desperately competitive event, even to make it through into the final. Well, these are the lucky crews that have made it through. We've got Spain, Serbia, Czech Republic, Ukraine, Hungary, Lithuania, Slovakia and Canada. Now, you can see lane one, we've got the Spanish crew there, but it's a different Spanish crew than the one that won the silver medal in Tokyo. And the Spanish have really worked hard on their crew boat process, their selection process, their racing and their training. And they've got a young crew coming together this time round at the World Championships. Enrique Adan, Carlos Garot, Juan Arias and Christian Toro. Some K2 paddlers moving into the K4 there. Grudzic, Novakovic, Dragoslavevic and Turabov from Serbia in two. Now, they're very, a lot of those paddlers, particularly Dragoslavevic, very good over the 200 metre distance. Then it's the Czechs, Bishar, Havel, Borel and Slauf. Vastly experienced uh, crew there from the Czech Republic. Then we've got the Ukrainians, Kukarik, Danlenko, Trunov and Semkin in four. Hungarians, Nadas, Kopash. Sismadia and Gal, so watch for them. Kopash, of course, we saw in the K1 1000 meter race earlier, taking the silver medal. And Sismadia just missing out at the Olympic Games in the 200 meters. So uh, a blend of speed and endurance for this 500 meter race for the Hungarians. Lithuanians, Maldonis, Maldonis, Nevakauskas and Seja in six. Balas, Misak, Zalka and Botek from Slovakia in seven. Mativ, Poulin, Lavin and McTavish from Canada are in eight. Then we've got Litvinow, Nachink, Fedorenka and Borkow from Belarus in nine. So, Hungarians. Now, Hungarians in lane five, if they get away to a good start, they're going to give themselves an excellent chance to win this. Not always the best start of the Hungarians, but expect them to come through well towards the end. But in the black boat, to the Hungarians left, the Lithuanians, very experienced, especially the Maldonis brothers in there. Sisters also do incredibly well for Lithuania in lane six. They're away well, pretty close at the moment. Good start from the Spanish. Now that's not surprising, as I said in the previous race in the men's C4. The Spanish crew got away to a good start, but missed out on the medals. We'll wait and see if they can hold this pace to pick up a medal here in the K4. You can see lane four, four lanes from the left of the picture there, going really well as a Ukrainian crew. So as we saw earlier in the day, Ukrainians, a couple of excellent paddlers in the women's C2. They're going very, very well in the men's K4 and that delightfully decorated boat. No mistake about that being a Ukrainian boat. Well, that's looking hard work for the Belarusians who are so well drilled at the moment in lane nine. I'd expect to see Hungarians there or thereabouts as well as we approach the finish now. Looks like the Ukrainians have the lead. Hungarians still got a bit of work to do. And it's going to be Ukraine. Definitely Ukraine have the momentum at the moment, but coming over the line, oh, that's close. Slovakia in second, maybe Lithuania in third, but hard to say. But Ukraine, it was the middle part of that 500 metre race that really won it for them, wasn't it? Not necessarily the best start, but again, 350 to 350 kilos worth of boat and paddlers to get moving is no easy task. But when they were moving, they held the momentum, swinging their bodies, their shoulders, their arms, their legs, all in time together, and it worked for them. And we didn't see them in the Olympic Games, but what a result at the World Championships. A big margin from them to the Slovakians, and possibly it was the Czechs taking the bronze medal. The Czechs, of course, have been there or thereabouts for so long in the K4. So Czechs taking the 
took fifth place at the European Championships earlier in the season. So they'll be pleased to get on their podium. We'll just have to wait confirmation of that. But a good result from them. As you see the Belarusians in picture. Belarusians, I think, this time round missing out on a medal. Hungarians a little bit disappointing. Haven't quite made their K4 work just as perhaps they'd like yet. They were out of the medals at the Olympic Games. And they're out of the medals here. But Ukrainians, they're the world champions in the men's K4 500 meter race. So confirmation of that, we've got Ukraine in 1 minute 20.19, a super fast time for the K4s, followed by Slovakia, Czech Republic take the bronze medal.